Alright, welcome back to uh, another league race this time with uh, DNS, this time we're in Japan for a very weird race, we'll get into it, but it starts with uh, intermediate conditions in qualifying and then rain coming near the end of the race, so straight away this um, throws a lot of things up in the air, so let's start the setup. Um, for a first round, it means we're not doing eight ballast, that's for sure. Uh, I was struggling with control of the car with uh, no traction and eight ballast, I still think it's one of the tougher tracks with no traction, more so the hairpin and the the last corner which is with that bump just launches the car up in the air so I had a fix for that heading into this one I was running 4-4 suspension um, but I was going to take that down I hope that was going to change things but uh, alas now we won't be doing that so anyways let's I'll, I'm going to load my dry set up then we're going to make a few adjustments so which I'll take you through because uh, why not so first of all I'm going to Instead of running two seven wings, we're going to go to nine. Um, leave the diff the same, leave that the same. Um, take down the suspension, pull up the front roll bars a bit. Um, Goes up to seven and pull up the right height then as well. And then uh, take the tire pressures down. And we will uh, stick on seven ballast as well. I, I think I did it right there. But um, I changed to seven ballast then afterwards. So, anyways, um, I was really struggling for pace in no TC in the wet. Um, just fighting the car there and I think while well, Scuba is on like a 36 or a 38 right there at that point I only did a 40 which is only good enough for 7th at that time so um, and again heading out for my uh, I'm, a, I'm a ninth now and I'm a big improvement here but still not good enough so it was quite close to others but it wasn't quite there so um, it's close to around 5 minutes at this stage left in qualifying so um, I'll, be, I'll be able to get back in and back out again so you can see the timer there this is later this is my Excuse me, later on my in lap, so um, I decided I get this process done a little bit quicker. Cut the chicane. Uh, I wanted to try and take out the sign, and it's very embarrassing. And I lose a wheel, and there you go, that's how qualifying ends. So, um, yeah, just, I don't know, that's, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I posted the, the live reaction to it, and that kind of explains everything I need to say about it. So, anyways, qualifying's done. Uh, so, I didn't think I'd improve it a ton more anyway because I really, I really was struggling for pace. Um, but I'm sure I could have found something. But, anyways, uh, it's going to be P9 on the grid. It's not going to be the greatest place. Um, my qualifying recently has not been very good. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, Dan Robs pulled the death, at the death there, swaying third. So, uh, only three people ended up surviving that qualifying session in the end. So,. Uh, I should have won on them, but there you go. That is, uh, there you go. That is uh, how silly it can, uh, it can get sometimes. But anyways, um, there is your race as such. Your uh, your weather. I didn't think it would change anything really. I thought, okay, we're, we're still gonna. If the rain coming at the end, we're still gonna have to do soft at lap twelve and mediums. So I was like, that doesn't really change anything. So as I put the wing up to three, four, um, yeah, and then we're good to go. Put the fuel up. I uh, will use a good bit. Uh, obviously, the um, forecast is always usually wrong, so it usually comes earlier than it says on the um, on the session forecast there. So I was aware of that, but as you can, mm, that's still not going to come soon enough. So in my mind, nothing was cha changing for this um, for this uh, strategy. So here we go then, hoping for a good start. Five red lights. And the way we go it was okay start to be fair. Uh, Swanee's going to get a decent start alongside. I was hoping to kind of stick with it, um, but you leaving the space on the inside then kind of cuts me off into turn or uh, through turn one. That's like going to allow Steve to go through. Uh, Mercury's on my right hand side. So I'll have to be aware of that. Um, and he, I think he gets on the curb on the grass and onto the gravel. So off he goes. So at the start then, I've ended up losing two positions to Swanee and. Uh, Steve, so not the best start, uh, but just have to try and plow on and just try and get through some of this traffic as quick as possible. It took me a while to adjust to um, seven ballast uh, over eight. Uh, you get on the power so much sooner on seven without the back end kicking out than you could on eight. So um, I wasn't used to this, and it would took me a few laps to it kind of took me a good bit to really adjust to it. Um, so. Um, that affected my pace somewhat because I was kind of a bit more uh, uh, conservative rather than uh, 
than uh, pushing through. So anyways, lap two, Bolt goes. Uh, big shock there. Uh, Matt on the left-hand side uh, rejoins, and he's just in front there, so he's just behind Swanley then. So uh, there goes Wesker then, pushed off by Joe's lag. So there's another position there. So up into some points already. Not that that's hard, um, but with, uh, if you, with how little drivers are, but yeah, just tried to stick with it. Softs I chose in the end because I thought, yeah, that's okay. Uh, Swanee is uh, had a little moment here, and I'm hoping to take advantage. So I went with softs because I still thought that was the rain was too far for a set of mediums. So uh, yeah, here we go then. I'm gonna try and get moved on on Swanee. Nothing doing through turn one. Uh, we're just going to continue through the S's. Uh, the rain still wasn't forecast at this point. They were still saying no rain. So I was like, okay, I'm still happy with the softs. We're going to pay on the medium. So uh, the plan was still the same one as we as it was would be on a dry. But uh, as we continue to swan follow Swanee here through the S's, Bolt is behind now as well. Um, he's going to have a little moment. Gets up onto the grass and the gravel. Stick to the left so we don't uh, end up uh, being uh, demolished. So anyways, we carry on. As we head through Degner 1 and Degner 2, Bolt then is just behind, goes for a dive, I see you behind. I'm oh, sorry, no, Bolt's actually at, at Den Dunlop Curve, I think, actually, so he's a good bit, behind, a good bit behind, and he retires. And, again, shock. He win a Div 1 race in TMC, but, uh, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, leaves the session, and that is going to bring out the good old-fashioned safety car. So... I was happy with this because, um, oh, hold on, the first thing I do though, first thing I do when uh, the safety car comes out, change obviously the fuel mixtures, but I actually think I, I go to check the weather because I was thinking about it saying for a medium, I was like, okay, if it was 10 to 15 minutes, I would have put in, the, maybe possibly consider coming in for the mediums, but it was still no, it was only lap three as well, you have to remember, and there's no rain forecast at that time, so again, um, Lap five though, ten to fifteen minutes for the rain. I think mm, I could still I could stretch this out ten minutes or so. Um, but the thing was, I was thinking if the safety car was going to stay another lap, this lap that I'm on, we're on right now, lap five, um, I was going to pitch. I decided, okay, if it's coming in, I was go if it was going to stay out, I was going to come pitch. So I thought, okay, whatever, I'm okay with staying out on softs as well. So, but I did I did think about it. And I thought, mm, maybe this is the one, but. It's, we're just, it's just so unpredictable when the rain's actually coming, so... And it's getting ready for the restart here. I've done a decent job keeping my tyres warm. Um, the rears as well, so... We're in good shape. Dan has gone already. He's lost the rears. There he goes on the left-hand side, so... Um, position right there, and now we're behind Joe. Um, and now we're in P6 now, so already things are looking up. So... Uh, yeah, just carry on. Lap 6 is a long way to go. The rain is a good bit out yet, so... Um, well, a little bit out yet, so uh, tire. Also, the thing with the tires as well, they're only 20% for lap six. It's like, okay, I can definitely take these a lot further. So, anyways, lap nine, then we're behind Joe. Uh, also, had to get out the throttle now to desync him. So, um, he's actually going to pull over to the left hand side and uh, let me go. So, appreciate that. His lag there wasn't sure where he was, he was if he was going to let me go or not. He said, let me go. So, appreciate that. And now he can set off after these two squabbling Ferraris in front, and they are squabbling for a good bit. Um, so lap 12, then, this is our original pit window. Um, Adam is behind Steve, heading through 130R, and just completely desync some. No, like just such an avoidable accident, but I'm going to sneak up through the inside then and uh, take that place. A little bit of contact on my rear, but take that place. So. Um, just I, I don't know. That was just poor from. Like it's it's so easy to avoid desync. Like it really is. You just have to have a brain to do it. You know. It's. I mean. It's. It's just. If that's that's what it boils down to. Like it really does. Like it's so avoidable in that situation. And I felt bad for Steve for having the you know first race back in a few weeks and uh, you know he's just punted out like that. So anyways, Matt's behind us. Uh, I didn't really think we could keep this really at bay. So um, he's pitching up for mediums at the safety car because he was he started on supers. So that choice is easy for him, but uh, anyways, I didn't really fight this too much. Away he goes, and that's just down there into P4. I was still happy enough with how things were going at this stage. Uh, so, anyways, heading on into lap 15. Let's just look at the weather. It's coming. Like that's the thing. Like at this stage, like should I pit? But like no, it's coming. The rain is coming very, very soon. Not five minutes. It's sooner than that. So, um, lap 17. 
the rain has actually begun to fall. You actually didn't see it, but um, it is actually falling through this first sector. So I okay, cool. I could take these a few more laps, and um, it all depended on how quick the rain would actually come and how quickly it would take to uh, shift to intermediate conditions. So still hoping here. I, was, I think I'm still, I'm still thinking. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really regretting coming in because at this stage. I still think it's the right thing. My tyres are in the 50s or so, 60s. There's still a few laps these could, these could go. So I think, yeah, okay. We could wait three or four laps or so for this rain to come. Again, lap 20, 70%. Like, it's close, but like, yeah, like, it's, it rain's coming down heavier, but still not shifting quick enough. So um, the more and more this goes on, the more concerned uh, we're all getting because we're most of us are on softs. And uh, Scooby here has blown up. He's got two punctures, I believe, front, left, and rear. So... There you go, we nip through him, that's also then to P3. Again, we're on 77% uh, wear. I'm thinking one more lap, I think one more lap I can get through to uh, get a pit stop. I think we'll be okay for intermediate, so um, just taking it so, so cautious. I felt confident I could do it. Sway's going to come into the pits, he's not taking the gamble, he's going to go on supers. Um, not taking the gamble on the inters, it's too soon, so he's going to come in. Uh, Matt's well gone up the road, 14 seconds up the road so, uh, lap 22 though you can see the steering wheel is going to get away from me, I think what the hell is this and then it leads to a much bigger accident the tyre has gone the, the rear left has gone, there goes Sway on supers, Dan who pitched after uh, his incident um, on mediums, he goes through, Joe goes through and the safety car is out so I'm thinking yes, here we go at, uh, I've been handed, I've been handed a big. Not only have I, not only am I lucky to be still in this race, I've been handed a big reprieve by um, uh, having to come in and uh, yeah get this changed. Um, intermediate is still a choice here, obviously, because the rain by the time the safety car is in will more than likely be the be the tire to be on. So, uh, of course, we won't see the crossover point as such in terms of like the DRS being disabled because the safety car is already out. So. Um, Swanee came into the pits about half a minute earlier. I was coming, this you coming through the hairpin when the, when I got the the message saying Swanee was in the pits. So, and they still weren't ready. There's so, it's so bad, it really is how poor on the games half this is. Like to be not be ready. So, anyways, we didn't lose too much time, thankfully. So, um, I've lost out to Scuba. I've lost out to Adam, um, and Joe and Dan, obviously. So. I'm lucky to be in the race, but I have lost some ground, some positions. I didn't have a penalty, I know one or two others did. So, anyways, lap 25, we're going to get two racing laps here to get this done. I'm at the back of this, so Swanee didn't catch up in time. So, at this stage, I'm hoping for others to make mistakes in front or to have incidents in front. So, two laps to do it. Still on OTC, let's get it done. Uh, Matt has made a mistake, so he's uh, Sway's going to take the lead then. That drops Matt down. Uh, we're going to stick with this because, again, we're just tiptoeing. In the sense, I wanted more laps. Like that's the thing. I wanted more laps to uh, try and get something because I felt like I had a little bit of pace here, but uh, I was just kind of pent up in this traffic. So, um, get a better run than Adam through the uh, Dunlop curve, and uh, an opp opportunity opened. But like, nah, it's not enough. I'm not taking that risk. Like to put your car down the inside there. Um, not enough to uh, warrant that move so anyways let him go on last lap then um, Matt had a little moment at the at, the, at that hairpin actually and uh, he's under pressure now from Joe and Adam Adam's going to jump by so is Joe and then I'm right there as well he goes a little bit wide I'm going to hang my car on the inside hoping to try and maybe get up the inside or the outside rather nothing doing so I have to just tuck in we're going to stay on board for this whole last lap so um this race, I mean, you couldn't script it. Like, you really couldn't. Like, what would you have done? Like, if you were racing this live, what would you have done? You know, the rain looked like it was going to come a bit sooner um, to the point where we could hang out these softs. The tire air wasn't too bad for me um, when the rain had already come. Um, you know, we didn't have that. Ch if we were on supers, it's a very easy choice on the stage car. You come in and put on the mediums. You know, it's... There's a lot of variables at play here. I don't regret anything that I did. Um, my only regret is that the rain did, uh, wasn't heavier, kind of when uh, you know it came. So, excuse me, I don't regret. And the, oh, sorry, I don't really regret that as much as I also regret the safety car coming in when it did. At uh, the first one, if it was a first, if it was if it came out a lap earlier, sorry, if it came out, it was into the lap later. 
I was pitting lap five. I was going to pit for mediums lap five, and I was fairly adamant about that in my mind. And uh, but I was, uh, but I wasn't too upset that it didn't come in because you know, rain was still nowhere near. It could have come onto the mediums and then go from there. But here we go then. Last chicane, a little bit of moments here. Uh, Sway wins ahead of Dan somehow. After all that, Dan ended up second. Uh, after Scoop was punctured, he ended up third. I jump up to fifth here ahead of Matt and uh, Adam on penalty. So. Um, just an absolutely mad race. There's the context behind it. I think I'm going to upload the whole race, assuming the live commentary isn't too bad, um, from other people. So, but there's your context for the race. I'm going to upload the full thing, um, just to have. So, um, just yeah, just a wild race. Anyways, that's going to do it for round number uh, eight or nine, I think, of DNS. Next up is Belgium, I believe. So, wild race this one. It was really fun, though, have to say. Until next time. Thank <laughs> you.